Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? I have not used a backdrop in so long. It feels like festive. I don't know why it feels festive when it's literally April. Single the mouse coming up. Olé. Um, anyways, you guys, so today's video, we're doing a video testing viral TikTok things that they made me buy. Okay, TikTok has made me buy so many things and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a video where I'm showing you guys the things that TikTok literally made me purchase. Some things actually were sent to me, but a lot of things I did have to buy. Do you hear that? There's a lot. I went to Ulta as well, which is before and I went to Ulta. I just emptied out the products. There's a lot. I would say a lot of these things I have not used. Some things I have, I will show off to you guys, but a lot of them, it's gonna be first impressions. We're gonna try it out here together and if it's gonna be a slay or it's gonna be a nay. Hot or rot? <laughs> Bussy Queen! I love her. I will say I have some videos saved from when I like wanted to buy some of these things. Some of these people, some of these bitches got me together and I said, you know what? So as always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't watch your nail drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like when I spend money so you don't have to, if you guys like the gays, oh, cause we gay. <laughs> give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started on today's video. Titty bounce, titty bounce, titty bounce, titty bounce, titty bounce. Why does that remind me of um, white chicks when she's like, bang on your big old monkey chest and jump off? Okay, so we have several things, okay? We have several. Let's, can we just empty? It just keeps coming, huh? I'm scared. Okay, some things I do have that I have tried, but that went viral on TikTok that I was like, okay, I want to continue just using it, trying it today. Um, this is a product that had gone viral recently. Patrick did a video. The One Size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. It is fantastic. I think it works so well. I'm going to spray it at the end of the video. It is something I have used before, and I do think it's fantastic. This is a video that Patrick like dunked himself in the water, and it went viral, and I saw it on my FYP, and I'm like, oh my god, this is hilarious. But let's start off light. Let me tell you guys something real quick. See what... No one saw that. Pop off, queen. I went to Ulta. Took me about an hour and a half to get the goodies I have acquired, like the Juvia's Place lipstick blushes, the powder blushes with Juvia's Place, NYX Bear With Me, never tried those. A lot of these things I have not tried before, the new Kylie Cosmetics, like mascara and little like shadow. Went to Ulta and um, it took me about an hour and a half. And I said, when I was leaving Ulta, I'm like, I'm not going to Sephora too. Like, I'm not doing that to myself. So I Instacarted. So I ordered the Brazilian, uh, cr what is this called? The Brazilian Crush Cheriosa fragrance, but I ordered 62, which is like the viral one, and I got 40, which is black amber plum vanilla wood, which I could feel like could be nice. That's lovely. Kind of reminds me of like this one Kaoli fragrance, actually. This actually does smell really good. Why isn't this one viral? I haven't smelled the other one yet though. This is actually one product I did have already. I see the Glossier ads everywhere. Glossier. Sickening, stunning. I actually gave one to my mom. She loves it. It's just a good fragrance. What should I spray? I've already sprayed this one. Let's do Cheriosa. That's lovely. I like amber and woodsy fragrances, so this is right on my alley, which is gaggy because it was wrong. Okay, I thought that because it was pink and it says Cheriosa, it was gonna smell like cherry. I swear on my life, I'm like, oh, great, I got a cherry fragrance. But it's not cherry. It's amber, plum, and vanilla wood. And this one's lovely too. Other side. I can't help it, okay? I'm a fragrance bitch. I have a lot of fragrances. I love them. I use them all the time. I'm more of a unisex girly. I like to wear like a combination of like a, a perfume and a cologne or a unisex fragrance. Like I don't like to smell one. Like I don't want to smell too masculine. I want to smell too feminine. I want to smell like in the between. And you know what video got me? Like this is the one that made me get got. Like I got got. The best viral makeup at Sephora. This is from Look Found It. And she did a video where she's like scanning to see if they're like good for you. It was a Cheriosa Brazilian Crush 62, this one. And I was like, oh, I don't have that. I want to try that. Do you want to know what being an influencer is? Do you guys want to really know what being an influencer is? It's getting product in PR. It's getting product in PR weeks, months ago. Misplacing it. And when you need it for a video, it's gone and you have to rebuy it. That's what my version of being an influencer is. If only I could be organized like a Virgo is. Laura, help me. Let's move right along to our base products. I'm gonna put some primer on really quickly because I am gonna be going in with this Say brush, which I've seen all over. This is the base brush from Say. Everyone says it's like the perfect foundation brush. I've never tried the Bear With Me concealer from NYX. Everyone raves about it. So I'm gonna be using this 
this and this. I actually saw Nikki Tutorials use a video, this in a video recently, is that I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. I've also seen the Juvia's Place just everywhere. There's several Juvia's Place products here because they are all over the place. Baby sponsoring the girlies. And I'm like, honestly, period. I'm not on Juvia's Place PR. <laughs> I just realized that. When I was shopping at Ulta, I'm like, I don't, I don't have any of this. And I'm like, I'm not on their PR list. It's gonna be a fucking flashback of me back in the day with the Kylie PR list video. If I could just get on that PR list. Mm. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin really quick. Give me one second. All my self tans worn off. Now let's go in with our Juvia's Place foundation. Nikki looked so freaking stunning in the video that I was like, I have to buy this, do I have to buy this? So I got this at Ulta. They have Juvia's Place at Ulta. And I was already going there to get the viral like blushes. So I'm like, wait, do you know how this video originally started? It was testing overly sponsored pro uh, products on TikTok. That was like how this video came to be. Now it's this, but it was that. And I was looking around, I'm like, what products are bitches sponsored with? And then I realized I'm sponsored there too. So let's go ahead and try this out. And we're gonna use that say brush. By the way, it does feel very lovely, I'm not gonna lie. Feels very nice. Did I wash it first? No. I don't know. Let me tell you guys the shade. The shade range was like tough for me. I did not know what shade to get. This is in the shade Cebu, C-E-B-U, made in Italy. The coverage of this is um, much more shocking than I was expecting because I thought that it was a <laughs> natural radiance foundation. It's radiant. It is absolutely radiant for sure. I just didn't expect it to have as much coverage. I think the word natural tricked me. I was tricked. The shade is a little like yellowy for me, but I think it totally works. Also, the brush is lovely. I think the Say brush was expensive though, so was it worth the price? Mm. Okay, you guys, honestly, the foundation is looking so <laughs> freaking pretty. So I used two pumps, and I'm like, I don't even need two pumps for my whole face. The amount of coverage it's giving me, the finish, like everything is kind of like a sleigh. I think it's also a combination of the brush, you really, really like, depositing the product down. Yo, Nikki Tutorials, you influenced me, you got me, gal. So can you guys see that it looks a little bit yellow for me? When I was trying on the shades in the store, like this is truly the closest that was to me that I could tell. So I might have to like, I don't know, I might need to like use another shade. I don't know, the shades were off. Okay, so now you guys, let's go in with the concealer. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I didn't even have a video. You guys, I'm oxidizing. I don't have a video necessarily that like I saw this from. Where didn't I see this is actually the true tea. Where didn't I see it? Cause I'm not kidding you, this concealer is everywhere. Everyone says that it's like really hydrating underneath the eyes. So that's kind of what I'm excited to try out for. I feel like I'm very hydrated today. Today's gonna be a hydration day because I'm using that Radiance Foundation and then this concealer. I would say actually gives pretty good coverage, like medium. Very loomy under the eye. It's almost like, oh no, it's not almost, it is absolutely luminous underneath the eyes. Recently, I actually got a brand deal with the Sephora Color IQ for like a TikTok and it'll be coming like soon, you guys will see. But I, when I worked at Sephora, I used Color IQ and I was like, this is, makes my life so much easier. And I hadn't been in so long to use a Color IQ or see it because I was like, dude, I haven't worked at Sephora, hello. And like, I always just get my own shit and I know like about makeup now. When I Color IQ'd myself, you guys, I literally was so gapped because I was like looking through the, like the matches they gave me they like enhanced the color IQ because it, it was so accurate. I was like, I was like there's shades I saw that were shades I was using and I was like, damn, the color IQ got even better. This part is not sponsored, but you will see a sponsorship from me in the future. And if you see that, hello, support me, support the dolls. Okay guys, so, so far, foundation brush, sickening. Foundation, sickening does oxidize. It was, I think we all saw it, it was a transformer. It transformed me. The concealer is lovely, I would say medium in coverage. And I wouldn't necessarily say it's like super buildable because it is more of a serum consistency. Nice coverage though, medium coverage. It covers what I need to cover. You know, it gets the job done. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some cream bronzer and then I'll be right back. I want to do some blush together. Okay guys, so now that I'm looking honestly sickening, I also use the Say brush to blend out the bronzer and it blended literally perfectly. This brush really is like that girl. Do you know what brush this reminds me of? Mine, Lunar. It's like that dense kind of bristle. It's a little bit denser, but it's very similar. Like, I, I love that buffing, dense brush. Like, I love brushes like this. It's slightly smaller in circumference. IJS, y'all, IJS. It's a little similar. <laughs> Shameless plug. <laughs> um, anyway, so, and I'm sure mine's cheaper. <laughs> no shade. 
Okay, so the one thing about not being on like brands PR lists, like the one annoyance about it is when you go to the store and there's no availability from the products, like if they're sold out or someone's like bought them up, like that's the only part that is annoying because I can't like get the product to try out. That's the only thing that's annoying about not being on PR lists. Because I went to, to Ulta, the only shade that was available, what was the only shade that was available? The only shade available was a Lily Love. And then I got this uh, Blushed Rouge Volume 2 to kind of go with it. This There's like two palettes available. This is one of them. So I'm like, okay, well, at least I have this. These are like the viral Dubious Place like blushes. And everyone's raving about them. Everyone's talking about them, saying that they absolutely love them. So I'm intrigued by it. And just to see, I'm not going to use a lot because like the color. One drop is all it takes, I'm assuming. And I assumed correctly. One drop really is, you know what? That's actually very pretty. What was I blending out? Did you the book? No, I can't do more. No, stop. If I put some on my sponge, I actually like that way better application wise than I do with the brush. Also, I'm kind of gagged at me enjoying the color. I really got it. You guys was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna test it for the formulation. Like I'm not gonna like the color and I know that and that's okay. Cause I know what I was doing. I knew I was coming into this with, I was like, you know what? It's just gonna be for the video. But here we are, cause once you blend it out, it becomes this like very pretty, like, I'm kind of surprised. I'm really surprised. I did not think I was gonna like it. I'm, I'm not kidding. Also the concealer from NYX is not creasing fast. Look at that. Girl, that's lovely for me. Y'all know how fast I crease. These are very, very pigmented from what I just tried. And I didn't need, I only literally needed one dot and I was good to go. And it kind of gives me that like summer terracotta kind of vibe. Um, I also grabbed this. There's a TikTok creator, called, her name's Jules and she, put me on to the one size new uh, cheek clapper in Attention Seeker. And this is like that really pretty pink, like baby doll pink kind of tone that like is very in right now. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that cream just to plop on top, very pretty. I have used this once before. See how it just kind of went into that pink place. I'm kind of mixing that terracotta with the pink. I feel like actually that mix is very pretty because it has that dimension to it. A little bit of pink, but a little bit more terracotta towards the bronzer and it looks very cool. If you're into that baby doll pink color, I think you guys will really like it. Um, if you are like deep in complexion, I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out on your complexion. I think it gets a little more spooky when you have baby doll pinks in general. Like any baby doll pink, I'm like, if you're deep in your complexion, it's a little bit spooky, you know? Cause it can look really gray. I have had shades that went gray on me and I'm as fair as snow. And you know that. I'm gonna take the actual blush, this one. Cause I feel like now like my cheek looks like this color. Weird how we got there, but take this blush. We're just gonna set the blush in place. That looks so freaking pretty and you can't tell me nothing. What? Hi. Okay guys, I'm gonna go set my face, add some bronzer, add some highlighter, do my thing, do my fantasy, and then I'll be back to continue with the next products we have. Okay you guys, I'm currently back. Please ignore. <laughs> the nose in the room. I was filming a little TikTok and um, the nose did get out of hand. Okay guys, so now let's move right along. Now that I can't breathe from this rhinoplasty. Let's move along. You guys, so the next product we have here is going to be this product from Kylie Cosmetics. One of my good Judy's Douse did a video on TikTok like reviewing the Kylie Kylash and the matte liquid shadows and they looked really cute on her. So I was like, you know what? I need to try these out myself. So let's go and do the matte shadow first, the mascara second. I do think the mascara packaging looks cute. It has like a Kylash emboss on it. It looks really cool. It's like a very light baby doll pink. A nice click closure. Oh, I love a click closure that gets me. You guys, recently I've been getting demonetized on several of my videos. I think that the um, it's getting better. <laughs> so we have a little Barbie foot. And we're gonna put just some of that onto the lid. And we're just gonna blend that. I wanna go kind of more natural with it. So I'm just taking a brush and blending that. Okay, immediately it blends very easily. Obviously it's like a liquid, so it shouldn't be that hard. It blends out very simple. Cute, this is very cute, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this would be a nice like base if you wanted to go in with more shadows on top. I think I went a little heavy handed in the beginning. The inner, the inner, the innards. I think I might actually do one of these instead pat onto it and then go from there instead of putting it directly on my eye. I do like it for a very nice, easy, everyday vibe. If this is your fantasy, I think you guys will enjoy it because the consistency is nice. It dries pretty quickly too, which is pretty good for a liquid shadow. And it's not even like one of those products where like a little goes a long way. Like 
the amount that it went on it went that way me literally saying in the last clip okay i'm gonna go in from the brush and then doing that again like ms guyly you can be onto something on this one diva everything is like kind of blending together my cheeks my eyes my nose i might have to go back and get the other shades to be honest because i really do like the consistency and the way they dry down to an almost like powdery velvet finish. Great for every day. So this is, by the way, in the shade on an actual mood is what the shade is, an actual mood. This is actually a mood, you guys. It's a mood, I feel it. Should we do it on the lower lash line too? If you think of a powder in a liquid form, that's what this is giving. Okay guys, so this is other product I actually am going to use. I'm gonna use it on my eyes. Uh, this is from Slushy Glow Cosmetics. And this like glitter situation looked so freaking cool on the freaking face. No, on the arm. It looks so cool on the arm. So I'm like, wait, can I just implement it onto my eyes? It's a very like pretty soft, finely milled mica, like poof. It's spraying out little glitter particles, you guys. What we're going to do is I'm going to spritz it onto my hand. Slushy glow. They actually sent me this, but I saw this video and I was like, wait, I need this. And then I remember they sent me a package. <laughs> Pop that onto the lid just because I would like to see a little bit of a sparkle very lightly. Oh my gosh, this is so finely milled. I'm kind of surprised. Man, y'all, now Diva, you know you shouldn't be doing that. So I'm gonna spray my finger instead. Just kind of give a little bit of dimension to the eye. I don't know if that's supposed to be used on the eyes, to be honest, but um, <laughs> do I care? Not really, but honestly don't do things. Just because I'm doing them doesn't mean you gotta do them. It's so finely milled too. It's such a like refined, soft glitter, like a shimmer. It's like a shimmer, but a glitter at the same time because it's so thin. The reflect is very, very refined. It's a very refined reflect. That's like a sparkle, a sparkle from within. Oh! Thank you, slushy glow. This is so cute. Should I do it like one time just to see? If my eyes completely close and this is right in front of it. <gasps> one spritz. Holy shit! It's too much! Okay, see, this is why I'm saying like, do as I, I was about to say do as I say, not as I do. Um. And that's wrong too. Do not do as I do or say, actually. So it's just more of a double, it's a double no. That looks good though, huh? So now let's go right along, you guys. We're gonna move on to mascara. Let's put the mascara on. Okay, first we gotta curl our lashes. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let's curl these lashes and let's try Miss Kylie. My entire face is glittered, by the way. So you do need to be somewhat cautious of this situation. Okay, mascara time. Immediately it's like very like thickening. I can immediately tell that's very, Thick. Oh, wow. Are y'all see what I'm seeing here? Immediate first impression, I'm enjoying. I don't usually get mascara that looks like this. I will say, let's see how fast it drops because it looks great right now, but then it, the second it drops, am I gonna be screwed? It's already dropping. <laughs> I wonder if she'll come out with a waterproof version of this. I'm impressed. And the thing, you know what I also like about it too? It's a drier formula, my favorite. Other than it obviously like dropping my curl, no mascara unless it's waterproof really is going to not drop my curl. I will say the effect is honestly very nice. It's very thickening, volumizing, and lengthening. The only thing it's not really is curling. It's just not curling. But other than that, it's like, it hits a lot of boxes. It hits a lot of freaking boxes. Douse, you got me, gal. Do I look like Kylie? It is a trick question. Like Kylie's very, very, very distant cousin. So that looks really freaking cute. Now let's move on to the lips, you guys. Okay, so lips, I have two products here that they got me together. So this one is cracking me up because let me just say, first and foremost, one of my besties, Daniel Prada, has been on the Volupt Balm from YSL for years, since Coachella, like 2017 or something. He's been in there like swimwear, he loves this, he uses it. Like we literally like clown him for it at this point. He'll like bring out his YSL and we're in the club and he's like this. And I'm like, diva. Diva. It's so funny. So of course I'm scrolling on TikTok and I see this video pop up and I'm like, you're joking. This should have been viral instead of the Dior lip oil. What? I was like, wait, you're joking. From MissKatieHub.org. Like she got me. I'm like, wait, that's what Daniel uses and he's using it forever. 100%. So we're gonna train this on. It gives me like a little bit of a tint, very small, but it does give this really nice balmy, comfortable, that nice YSL like, mango-y smell. And then you guys, we have this product from the, uh, from Essence, this is the What The Fake Extreme Plumping Lip Filler. Did I use this already on my video? You guys, I actually don't remember if I've already used this. I'm not kidding, like I have dementia. I think I might've used this, I'm not using it again. What we're gonna use instead is the Queen Cosmetics 
liquid gloss. These are like the, the glosses that have like a color shift to them. And Miss Rose got me onto these bad boys. She got me onto this. Like Rose got me together. So Rose Sayard, I believe is her last name. Like Rose and Ben is her handle. Um, she was doing this like little series where she would swatch these Queen Cosmetics lip glosses over like black lipstick to see what they look like. And they looked freaking insane. So I'm like, wait, I need these. They all look so freaking cool. These are mo the most like glittery glosses I think I've ever seen. To go with my look, I feel like this will go with my look the most. This is actually in the shade Bad Witch. Oh, what a cute name! What I'm really curious about these, are they going to be gritty? That's what I'm very intrigued about. Holy guacamole. You guys, these are like, you know what? For as much as reflect and glitter that's in here, I thought they were gonna be much, much, much more gritty and they're not. They're a little bit more on the like goopier side, but I think you kind of have to be to not feel the grit. Probably some of the most intense lip glosses I've ever seen. I don't know if on its own, it's my fantasy. It's giving Xenon. It's giving 90s like glitter lip. You know what I mean? And that's not necessarily my fantasy. I try one of the other ones. I'm like, honestly, these were kind of cool. I'm gonna take the shade Magic Potion, which I wanted to take originally. Green, blue, Holographic. Magnetic. I actually think this one's more pleasant on my lip, to be honest. Nope, I don't know. They both feel the same. A little bit more on the goopier side, a little bit more cushiony. I think they kind of have to be like that. So to not feel, because the amount of glitter in here is actually crazy. I've never tried a gloss that was this glittery before in my whole existence, in my whole life. These lips are made for walking. This is crazy. It looks like my background. If I pat it like that, like a little pat, just to keep the glitter on my lips, and then I go in with like a gloss over top, will it kind of like diffuse it? See me, I think I like a little bit less of the reflect. Oh my gosh. It scared me for a second, that was my filler burn. See, I like that more. I think I need a little bit more color in my lip personally, like to enjoy it on me or like want to wear it. This is what I would prefer. Still hella glittery, more natural looking, I suppose. That's all I use them. That's, these are like so wild and so crazy and I feel like amazing for like festival season. I think I would just personally wear them in this kind of capacity, but to do something like this with the consistency that they are, to not feel the grit on the lip is truly like a feat. So Clean Cosmetics, you guys honestly deserve a like fucking award. A little final spritz. God, that's strong. <coughs> the one size until dawn, it will get you together. If, it, if you don't cough, did it work? Like, why am I going with more? I don't know. And that is it, you guys. That's it for my entire video today. Testing these like viral TikTok must have made me buy Bullshit. That's what we look like. What do we think? How, what do we think of the face? What do we think of the products? I will say I'm very pleasantly surprised. And why do I sound like the sexy demon from Big Mouth? Come on, say it like you want a dick in your hand. Okay. And I do understand and I do see why they have like gone viral on TikTok in some capacity because a lot of these products, if not all of them, did work for me. There was no product that I was like, that's a complete flop. Like none. There was no real flops. And I'm kind of like surprised because a lot of the times, as you guys know in these videos, like there will be a flop. My lips are starting to burn now from the essence. These products and these brands have done a great job on these products and they deserve their virality. And if you guys spend your money on them, I do think that you guys will really enjoy the products uh, a lot, <laughs> like for sure, in some capacity. Like obviously like if you're, if you're not interested in like a really, really glittery lip gloss, then like don't get that. Anyways, you guys have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and I'll catch you guys in my next Video. Bye, I love you. Oh, it's best trip. I thought I said grip. Oh, not the gorilla grip. <laughs> I hate that. Manual, it's too early for this bullshit. Don't start with me. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you know what I'm gonna use, you guys? Don't start, Z, please.